R slash ask reddit. Why did that teacher get fired from your school? Two teachers. They got caught ducking in a classroom. My 5th grade teacher got caught ducking the IT dude in her classroom while we were out for recess. Neither got fired but were transferred to other schools. Now I'm really starting to wonder if any of my other teachers were ducking each other and nobody ever found out. You want it to be the young and attractive ones but it's really the 72 year olds on the verge of retirement. Actually not really, at least not in the case that I mentioned. My science teacher was in her early 30s. Blonde, blue eyes, nice body, she was incredibly attractive. The guy was around his late 30s or early 40s. Used to be really overweight but at the time he had shed off all of the fat and had a pretty muscular physique. Doesn't change the fact that we all thought he was a douche lol. Two teachers at my middle school, man and woman, would often walk into the bathroom together. They straight up duck during passing periods. Talk about risky public sex. Anyone could have walked in on them at any moment lol. Students laugh she ate toothpaste. Turns out she was an alcoholic trying to cover her breath. 9 out of 10 alcoholics recommend Crest TM. The 10th one passed out and couldn't recommend it. 2 words. Peppermint schnapps. My math teacher was a volunteer first responder. In NY. She left school to help out during 9-11 and was fired from not showing back up for 2 weeks. Ducking hell. The students and parents fought for her, but I think she decided not to come back because of the outright ducked upness. She made a good choice. Sounds like it would have been a toxic work environment anyways. One of my high school teachers was caught on to catch a predator. I bet it was Walter Babst, the high school teacher from Riverside, CA. Bingo. You guessed it. I haven't watched the video in years. One of the elementary school teachers at the district I went to got arrested for making his class worship him like he was a cult leader. He was totally bonkers. I had a football coach like that. He made us call him God. I signed out of the team pretty quickly. Oh my football coach that's insane. He didn't come to parent teacher interview night. The next day, he was late for class and crashed his pickup into a brick sign outside the school. Cops showed up obviously and allegedly he blew twice the legal limit. He called the principal a dunt as he was taken away. Our beloved teacher, Mr. Morn, had worked there for 29 years without incident and was one of the best teachers there. His classroom was always a laugh riot. He was the best roaster and encourages us to roast him properly. He never failed to get us motivated and a lot of us owe our career inspiration from him. He was fired because he had jokingly smacked a student on the back of his head for making a stupid comment. It was like something out of a sitcom and all of us expected it and loved it. Yet one student, who was new at the school, was culture shocked by this. He thought it was strange but hilarious. He told his mom offhandedly and his mom became the Karen. Never mind that the student was the teacher's godson. No physical contact was allowed says the Karen. He was suspended with pay for 3 months pending investigation then was let go because the Karen twisted the story and it blew up around the school. A year later, teacher won both the lawsuit against the school and libel case against the Karen with her son being one of the key witnesses. We still keep in contact and roast him for getting rich over smacking kids around. Holy shit imagine your son testifying against you for a libel case. Explained elasticity by pulling the bra strap of a girl. Another one for having relationship with a girl from 8th grade. 14 yo. Hey Susie come here so I can explain the female reproduction to the class. Sir. But you haven't explained the male one yet. Geeky AV teacher that everyone loved. Knew he was a geek and owned it. Caught in a predator sting trying to solicit underage girls. The kicker was a spring school levy was coming up. Local police conspired with the school district to hide the charges for 3 weeks until the levy was passed. Someone substituted his class for 3 weeks. Yay everyone was both devastated and pissed. The district ended the school year early. Does levy have a meaning besides drafting your serfs into a standing army? Yay. It means to impose a tax or fine. In this instance it would be a new tax proposal was coming up that would benefit the school. Arrested by the FBI for credit card fraud. It was a few months after the arrest when the reason why he disappeared came out in the open. After some of the others I'm actually okay with yours. 
my high school of 500 students lost 5 teachers last year because they all had a relationship with the same 15 yo girl colon. Is this real? Sadly, the story is that this girl started flirting with all her male teachers to get attention and good grades. And they all flirted back and sent her nudes and stuff. Then at the end of the year when she realized how ducked up it was, she exposed them to the whole school. My sociology teacher in high school was fired for throwing a chalkboard eraser at a sleeping student's head. He was a great teacher, and always did this in good humor. Obviously not a great idea in retrospect, but we all knew that we could get away with sleeping in his class if we didn't mind getting an eraser upside the head if he noticed. I heard he was fired a few years after I graduated high school, and that kind of bummed me out, probably deserving of a reprimand of some sort but not getting fired. It's not like he was a sex offender or guitar player. Guitar players are all fired on the spot. He pushed some dumbass kid who hit him against a wall. My AP Chem teacher had an affair with the principal. Principal got fired too. I felt bad for her. They didn't do anything on school property, and it didn't impact her performance in the classroom. Also, the school wasn't able to find a qualified teacher to replace her halfway through the year. So we were all ducked come test time at the end of the year. Not one of us passed that AP test. That's messed up. There are very few teachers in a given school that are capable of teaching AP especially without training. Not to mention that it was a rural area where there wasn't a surplus of teachers period. Much less ones prepared for higher level courses. I don't blame the district for not being able to find an adequate replacement. But I do blame them for firing her in the first place. She was always drunk. And drinking during class. She would leave us to cry in the bathroom. Whoa. That's sad. I heard a rumor that my favorite teacher from 9th grade got fired when I was in 10th grade because he left his class unattended. Honestly amid all the pedophilia and rampant alcoholism, I like the anticlimax of this one. High school gym teacher. Apparently he showed up to a hotel room expecting to bang a 13 year old but got busted by the cops instead. It's always the gym teacher. Not every gym teacher wants to be a pedophile, but every pedophile wants to be a gym teacher. One was such an unlikable teacher they were asked to retire. One was watching porn in class. One sent someone else's dong pics to a student's mom. One robbed a bank. What subject was Mr. Bank Robber? That's Mrs. Bank Robber to you. English. He straight up didn't show up to work one Monday, didn't call into a ranger sub or anything. He ghosted the school for a whole week and then tried to come in the following Monday like nothing happened. We also had a 5th grade teacher overdose on meth but I honestly don't know if she got fired or resigned. It didn't happen at school. My grade 2 teacher also got fired for not showing up. She did at least make plans for a sub most of the time but we went weeks without seeing her. A co-worker teacher got fired two weeks in the new semester, when instead of uploading a video related to his subject, he instead accidentally continued a previously paused hardcore lesbian scene on the big interactive screen. The computer he was using was slow and shitty too so he couldn't quickly exit the video. It went on for a good 30 seconds before someone pulled the plug on the screen around the same time he lobbed the laptop about 30 feet across the class. Yikes. This one's so horrible but also so plausibly completely accidental. Oh boy where to start. Elementary school nurse was fired for taking the kids medications. HS band teacher slept with a 15 year old. Swim coach left a hotel that he was at with his mistress drunk and killed someone with his car. My high school had like 400 students. Dating a 16 year old student. He was a band teacher. He also had a wife and kid. He went to jail and is now a registered sex offender. The state of Florida has asked us to. I still think about this all the time. The assistant principal that kicked me out school for smoking weed. Got arrested for picking up a prostitute. Then fired. She embezzled thousands of dollars from various club funds. There were also rumors of her sleeping with students. But the administration never bothered to look into that. Middle school pay teacher walked into the girls wardrobe and asked if he could watch one of them change their tampon as a joke. The art teacher at my middle school was known to be very suspicious. I've heard that he would take pictures of girls and touch girls, and adding to the fact that he called two girls lesbians in front of the whole class. 
It was just very weird. All these rumors and he got fired eventually. I can't imagine how his wife must have felt when she asked why he got fired. They didn't fire him based on rumors. My money's on they had solid evidence against him but it wasn't made public. The one that for fired was a substitute teacher and coach of a girls team for grade 7 9. He seemed a bit creepy and we joked that he liked coaching the girls and teaching pay so he could watch the girls run around in their shorts. Turns out that wasn't far from the truth. His full time job was in the medical field where he was caught doing inappropriate things to female patients. Some of whom being kids he coached and taught and he had two sons in that school. This one didn't get fired, but she was at the point where she had a few classes taken from her, and if she did anything wrong, she would have been gone. Why? Well she didn't know the subject she was teaching, and would make stuff up rather than admitting she didn't know the answer. She was always mad, and we called her popsicle because she acted like she had a stick up her ass. But the biggest thing was that she failed two grade 11 classes, the whole class, because apparently not one person including the smartest people in the school, passed any tests. I had a teacher like the second one, science teacher who believed the earth was flat. She was also a huge beach. Him and his college buddies invited an underage student over to his house for drinks. They then proceeded to drug and rape her. He still kept his job for a while after the fact because the girl was terrified and didn't know what to do so she told her friends which then made the story spread like wildfire and all the people in a position to do something about it thought it was just a prank. Well turns out it wasn't a prank. He got sent to prison. Considering it was a drugging and gang rape of a minor he is probably out by now. I guarantee you he left the state because everyone and their angry redneck dad with a 12 gauge knew about what he did. Teachers at my high school got fired on a pretty regular basis. Principal was a narcissist, but here's one of the rare ones we actually heard about. The school went into lockdown because someone was seen hopping over the fence onto campus at the start of the school day. Freshman geography teacher locked his door, didn't control his class. Wouldn't let one of the students back in, and jumped at every sound he heard. For comparison, the sub in senior literature next door didn't have a key to lock the door, but grabbed the handle, got on the floor, and planted both his feet on the frame so that the door couldn't be opened. I think the dude was a linebacker for football, too. Coach history teacher of course. First off some of the early warning signs we all should have noticed first. He showed up the first day of school and told us he was a youth minister and that we would always see him in long sleeves and pants because he had tattoos and he regrets them. That he didn't want to accidentally encourage any of us to get some too. Two weeks later he is in shorts and polo shirts showing off multiple Looney Tunes tattoos. He taught 6th grade US history out of a textbook. Word for word, we did multiple chapters a day and were expected to do every assignment listed for each chapter. This averaged about 3 hours of work a day. In 6th grade, he was the only class that year to regularly assign homework and he received multiple parent complaints about the workload. He would often leave the class alone to read chapters. He would then go out to the hall or parking lot to make out with his girlfriend who would arrive randomly. He was the middle school track coach and thus spent a lot of time in and around the middle school locker rooms. Too much time. He took photos of the kids running for the yearbook. These pictures eventually made it onto his work computer desktop. Then his phone background. Only the girls though. But the final straw that got us out of his care. He showed up to a middle school basketball game drunk and tried to yell at the ref. He was fired that day and not allowed back on campus. He got a female student pregnant at the same time his wife was pregnant. His wife was and still is a gym teacher at the school. I replaced one teacher. She was young and pretty and was photographed kissing one of the seniors in the parking lot. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.